Well, would you check this out? Look what we've got here. We've got a uh, bar gate graph or a stock control graph. Uh, so let's take a look at this. This is again a uh, older GCSE paper, uh, but still nice and useful for us to uh, just get a bit of practice on. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you want to pause the video now, you can have a uh, have a crack at uh, the questions that we've got regarding this here. Uh, so the diagram below shows the uh, Bargate uh, stock graph for deliveries of waste fire hoses uh, to Elvis and Cress during December 2012. In December, Elvis and Cress received two deliveries of waste fire hoses. This is a business that makes like wallets and bags out of uh, used fire hoses. Uh, these are labeled on the Bargate stock graph as A and B. Okay, so we can see those deliveries, uh, and therefore there is this big jump in the stock level. Now, remember what we've got here. We've got like a minimum or a buffer stock level of stock here, represented by this horizontal line above the zero point. Uh, now, we've got a reorder level, so at this point when stock uh, is sold, then the reorder comes through. Now we can see that's taken a bit of time to actually get that new delivery in. Um, so that's that's a little bit of a worry. Uh, in contrast to this one, the order seemed to come through quite quickly. Now it says the number of days along here. So anyway, let's uh, look ahead and check out these questions. So identify the level in kilograms of the buffer stock held by Elvis and Crest during December 2012. So we can see we've got 50 here. This is all uh, in kilos, of course. And we can see that each of these little blocks represents 10 kilos. So therefore, we should have an answer of 20 kilos. Uh, so the next question is uh, to calculate the weight in kilograms of delivery A showing your workings. Okay, so let's see where this goes up to. So this goes up to a high point here of 120 kilos. Uh, and by all means, do ride on this and uh, just uh, make amendments to it so uh, the uh, figures really sort of jump out at you. Okay, so we can see the, uh, the weight um, jumped up to 120. Now they jumped up from a level of, of course, uh, just 20, their buffer stock level, okay? Uh, so therefore, what we can see is that the actual size of that order in kilos was 100 kilograms, all right? Uh, so that's looking pretty good. So the next question over here uh, is to calculate the length of time in days it took for delivery B to arrive after it was reordered. Uh, so sh again, show your working. So look at this reorder line. We've got a maximum stock holding point, of course, up here. Um, that's not relevant in these questions, but uh, just remember that is our maximum stock holding. So that's all they can take in their warehouse or uh, storage facilities. Uh, so we can see at this point here, that is where the order is placed. Now that seems to correspond to what, 12 days? Because it looks as though this is breaking down into twos, okay? So while we've got 10 kilos on each of these uh, vertically, each of these 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, yeah, so each one represents uh, two days. So therefore on the 12th day, uh, the order was placed now, when did they actually receive it? Well, we can uh, look at 30 because that's the closest number it was uh, to. And if we just deduct uh, two and then another two, then that gives us 26 days. So therefore, again, we've got to show our working just to make sure that we don't make a sloppy error in terms of uh, providing the answer here. So if we actually say, right, okay, so reorder was, um, on the uh, 12th day, okay, so that came in then uh, as the actual order for new stock and the delivery came on the 26th day, uh, great. Okay, so then all we've got to do is work out the difference and of course the difference between them is 14 days. So that is therefore going to uh, be our answer. Now, the next question is quite a nice one, to be honest, uh, but uh, you, your questions aren't structured in eight marks now. Uh, but nevertheless, you can take a look at it and you can uh, argue both the uh, benefits and uh, the uh, disadvantages of um, holding large stocks of raw material. Of course, it means your cash flow is uh, used up, but it means 
that you've got plenty of stock to actually make final uh, goods with to sell, of course. All right, great stuff. We'll leave that there. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.